So that one's called Highfield up there. This one is called Orchard House. And every house has a house parent living in. So there's a lady if it's girls, a man if it's boys, who looks after the students, sees them every morning, sees them every night, just to make sure that they're okay and ready for, for school. And our nurse lives here, uh, and she is the house parent for, in fact, she's a lady that looks after boys, but that's the only unusual one. Every house has got a keypad on for security. Bands? Are you in? It's bed changing day today, so you'll find the beds a little bit untidy. Some of them are stripped off, but do go in and hold up. Ryan! Are you in? <laughs> toilet here, toilet upstairs, and there's eight here. So two showers, two toilets. Four, it's about the ratio, four to one. I don't want to open that door because I know it's very untidy. <laughs> so this is a boy's house, medium to better quality here. Not the best, but uh, medium to, to good quality. And I'll show you a girl's house in there, which is the best en suite. 40 new bedrooms en suite, bigger rooms. So we're, we're hoping to no, it isn't. Uh, what we use that for is our second year A-level senior students and there's about 60 girls, 65 girls with 40 rooms. So some choose to live there I don't want to live there. They want to live down here where, where, with their friends. If there's more than 40, we put all the names in a hat and we pull them out, number one, number two, until 40. So it's very democratic. <laughs> So we have a little coffee bar here that opens every evening, so students can come and a lady does toasted sandwiches and coffee and tea and biscuits and crisps, that kind of thing. We have our own disco here, which the students run. They do their own disco. Saturday night, big night at Concord. So every night, uh, half past nine, disco starts till one. So they have a nice. And they do everything themselves. Um, in the ceiling, there is a um, projector. So we can get sky movies, sky sports, and so on, uh, and project on the screen. So, uh, I think we switch it off at two o'clock in the morning because some of them play games. <laughs> the boys, so, so we want them to sleep a little bit. <laughs> so we switch off the other uh, one. Two a.m. comes back on at six because sometimes for countries, the Far East, eight hour time difference. So it's important. That they can. The girls' bedrooms are in here, 40 bedrooms in here, and then the nicest bedrooms are in this building. They're on and they take them to university with them, then usually as well. You know, I better wait for everyone to come out. Nine, ten? Okay. Lost them. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty bedrooms down and find the cleaner now and have a little look. Again, student names and when they're out, they tick, when they come back in, they, they can tick across. So it's very easy to find out who's in and who's out. 
and if there was a fire, you could take these off, take them outside, and you have the registration. Very quickly like that. Okay, let's see if I can find the cleaner. Hello! Where are you? Hiya! <laughs> Shall I come this way? Anybody in? Yeah, I'm only these two. Oh, good. Oh, I don't want to go like that. <laughs> We've got 13 people to have a look. <laughs> Reasonably tidy. That's the case. Have a look. Well, these have on suite. These are on suite and air conditioning as well. So Hello. These, Hi. these are the best bedrooms. And that one as well. Please just have a look. This is based on the levels in each three. Maximum of 12 in a class. So we have uh, beginners, lower intermediate, intermediate, upper intermediate, advanced in the younger age groups, the same in the middle age groups, and the same in the older age groups. And every lesson is quite intensive because we do a, um, a textbook grammar course in the morning, mm -hmm. first thing. Then we do skills, uh, mm -hmm. reading, writing, listening, speaking. And then lunchtime uh, comes, and after <coughs> lunch we have an options program where we say to the students, how would you like to study English? You can choose. You can choose drama, photography, fashion, uh, camping and navigation, uh, art. There's a lot of things, but the English program is worked around that. So, for example, cookery, we use this kitchen here, mm -hmm. this big one. Mm -hmm. We have a chef from the kitchen, an English teacher, a class of 12. Mm -hmm. and the chef brings the recipe, so they have to read the recipe. He explains to them what they have to do, so they have to listen to his instructions. Um, they have to ask questions, and we, the teachers talk to them all the way through. And at the end, they fill in a worksheet. So they have to write down, um, my pancakes were delicious because I could improve them by doing this. And so, actually, they're doing all the English skills in such a very much. So they choose two subjects, um, cookery and drama. To Concord, 12 and a half, 13 years of age, and year 10 and year 11 is two-year GCSE course. So they can be here in lower school for three years, then go on to A-level for the two-year A-level course. So some students are with us for five years. Some come directly to year 10, just for two years, GCSE, and A-level, so four years, and some just come for A-level for two years. So they can enter at different ages here. So this building is lower school, uh, lower school classes go 